Alright folks, we are mushroom hunting right now for morels. I didn't find any yet, but I found an old Gatorade bottle that is made out of glass. I don't ever even remember Gatorade coming in glass bottles. So that has to be from the 1970s. It looks, it's in fairly good shape except for the lid. I mean, that is really cool. I'd say it's 40 years old because I don't, they've been in plastic ever since I was a kid. So I don't know. Just kind of an interesting find nonetheless. <sighs> Honey, that goes another interesting find while morel hunting after the Gatorade bottle. I think it's a dog. That looks like a dog, but it could be possum. I'm not really. No, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is, guys. It's also got just a single tooth laying, laying in the ground there. Honestly, I have no idea what that is. It looks like a dog because it's kind of pointy. <coughs> it takes patience. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go this one. What you want to do is you look down and you and you just keep slowly going across and do like five foot areas and then go back a couple feet and do the same thing or else you might totally miss something they're going to be in an area that's shady more than where it's sunny they like it where it's cool and shady. This is ideal right here over all this whole area. Unfortunately, it's a cedar tree though. Not the right kind of tree we're looking for, but. Cause they, they don't like the acidity is what my brother said. Yeah, see, that's a cedar tree. <sighs> All right, folks, Wilma hit pay dirt before me. She found mushrooms already. She sure did. That is a mushroom. And I was just, folks, I was just sitting there saying that we need to get away from this spot because there's too many cedar trees. That goes to show that it's not necessarily true. Yeah, there's been people here already, and we was about to wonder if we was ever going to find any. You could tell where people was raking their hands in the leaves trying to find other ones. But I explained to her just because someone was here yesterday doesn't mean there won't be new ones. Good job, hon. That's a morel, yep. All right, let's show. First mushroom of the day. Not bad, it's a start. Good job. You gotta, you're paying attention, that's a good sign. You, you can tell somebody was right here, look. Did you see it sticking up out of the leaves already? Or did you have to move for it? No, it's you, already you already seen it, okay, that's good. Okay, obviously I need to walk slower and pay more attention. We got our first mushroom, guys. I'm glad we chose this place because where there's one, there's many more. See, and we get further away, the less likely someone else has been there then. All right, we're on a roll. Yeah, there's definitely been people here. It's everywhere I look, you see hand, hand print. Should have brought my phone. And a spare camera. 
a battery. Huh? There's definitely been people here for sure. Real obvious. Did you find one? We don't want to go too far that way. It's too hard to walk. Well, guys, I guess Wilma's just a natural with the mushrooms. I haven't found a single one. I was about 50 feet ahead of her, and she says, I just found two more. Uh, she's got a big one. And, uh, so I'm... I guess I'm not just that great at it. I'm looking just like she is, but maybe not as good. I keep telling her to let's go further away from the road to get away from where other people hunted, but she keeps finding them anyway. So. Yeah. Oh, man. Two of them, huh? Good job. See, they're always near the tree, kind of. You don't walk too fast. Look really good. <laughs> Good job, hon. Hold them up for us. Good job. Alright, folks. She just found two more. I gotta watch the thorns beating this bag up because... I am, but... I'm trying to get away from the thorns and get more in an open woods. Once we get over this hill, it's going to be better, easier to walk. It becomes more of an open forest over here, I'm telling you. Like starting right here, way easier. Guy down the road, guys down the road from us here. Well, they're gonna scare them, never mind. There's a whole gr big group of buzzards because there's something dead laying in the road. And there was about 10 of them hanging out there, but that truck definitely just scared them off. Maybe they'll fly back down by the time we get down there. There was at least 10 of them. That's actually pretty deep. That's flood water from the creek over there. There's probably fish or two stuck in there. Anyway, we only got three mushrooms today. So one for me, one for my brother, and one for Wilma. Definitely ain't gonna get full. Ah, that's too close. Look at all the trash. God. No, we need to get going. We'll look every day, it's okay. We don't wanna waste you don't want to do it when it starts getting warm the first two hours in the morning. That's why I was trying to get up so early. That way you don't sweat to death. Well, I guess the buzzards took off their way over there. They they got their eyes on this dead possum or whatever this is here. And they're coming back with a vengeance. Here he comes. Dun -dun.
Dun, 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 dun. It's a possum. God, that's disgusting. Ugh. See, he's waiting. <laughs> there went a hawk. Yeah, they're too lazy to find their own food. They have to eat dead food. Why don't they eat something else? That's lazy. I can't believe how did we good good we did right at the beginning. Well folks, I'm trying today. I found one so far. It's a star. It's a little baby one, but hey, it's a mushroom. We had to end the vacation with something, so I'm gonna keep trying more woods. See how many I can get today. All right, folks, we're on our way home, and we decided we're gonna hunt mushrooms four or five different places and just take our way. It's been real cloudy and 50 degrees today and sprinkling off and on, which is ideal conditions for the end of the mushroom season. What, you found some? Are you serious? <clears throat> really? She sure did. That's why I got her out of the car. She wanted to sit in the car and she's better at it than me. I found this little guy so far and she just found a big one. Good job, honey. Told you I know where to look. This is a big, the biggest, the highest elevation in this whole county, followed by the lowest elevation right at the bottom of it because it's the river bottoms. So you got the two extremes and if you notice, you see acorn tree, acorns laying all over the ground. So these are all oak trees. One of the three kinds that you want. Good job. Good job. I did good too because I found that little tiny one. And I'm not good at seeing them unless they're big usually. It's just hard to get up and down this little one. Where? She found more guys. All right. Man, you got a good eye. God, yeah, it is. That's a big one too. Oh my God. Oh wow, that's a monster. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh my goodness. We just did better, folks. We just did better in one minute than we did the entire day that one time. <laughs> Ow. Ow. I should have wore pants. Hey, where'd he go? I don't see it. Oh, I see it. Okay. My goodness, no one's hunted down here, obviously. I knew this was a good spot right away because nobody thinks about coming down here. All right, yep. Oh, there's one right behind him. That's five. All right, folks, we are on them. Morel Madness. I'm gonna fill this whole minnow bucket full of them. The, unfortunately, the best parts of the woods to find mushrooms is the ones that's the hardest to walk through. It's got lots of thorns. Usually the open woods tends to get more too much sun. My God, that's a big one. It's, I'm trying to reach it. There's too many thorns scraping my legs. If I can just get reach over. I got him. Oh my goodness. See, we found it now. We made the best of what weather we had. We couldn't fish, so we decided, you know what? We said we was gonna hunt mushrooms every day this week and we only did it once so far and we're already on our way home. Vacation's over and uh, I, we were really down in the dumps because it's most of the days have rained and ruined our fishing plans. I had to rearrange everything. Nothing worked as we planned, but we made the best of what we could do. And uh, as you see, we at least had a good morale day now, and we just started. 
If we stay here an hour, we're going to fill this bucket, I'm telling you. Should we try to... I wonder if we should go down on the railroad tracks. Because then we can get up... Instead of climbing down hills, we can climb up them. Oh, there's the sun. You want to find a spot where we can get down on the tracks and then we can pop up the woods instead of down every time? Be less climbing. Man, I didn't even think to look down here. I was wanting to look up in these woods where it's bigger trees. And it just shows that Wilma has a natural tendency to find these mushrooms, guys. She always does better than me. Oh, there's going to be a lot right here because there's lots of dead brush logs everywhere. That's a really big one, that one. I can get down, almost get down this one. There's a fence down here. There's a fence. Oh, I'm looking at the ground better. I'm trying to... I look at a straight line of 20 feet and I just keep moving over slowly. Looking for that brown color. I know there's some right down there. Right where those soda bottles are. I think she found some more, guys. Where are you at? That's where I went before. That's where I found the one I got. This is where I was going to come up. Told you'd be. Oh, look at that right here. I got two. This used to be one. Oh, yeah, that's the one you tore off. Okay, pretty good. I spotted the bottom of one. Good job. She just found two more, guys. We got about. That's five, six, seven. We got seven. All right. We could fill this entire bucket. They're just not in big groups yet. We're finding two here and two there, but that's better than one. I'd rather find them in pairs. You know why it's like this? Because these are all oak trees and it's steep and it's wet. And it's good fertile soil. Here's a mushroom, but it's not a morel. But it is a mushroom, guys. Sure. Different kind. Non-edible, probably. What I like about mushroom hunting is you always find other things. I always find antique beer bottles and neat soda bottles and stuff. So I'll probably find a, a good gift to take home with me as well. All right, folks, we are up to seven. I'm gonna have to turn this camera off sometimes so it makes sure we don't go dead. All right, guys, Wilma just found some more mushrooms, more morels. We just learned the secret to it, we think. We noticed all the mushrooms are in the first 20 foot of the woods next to the road. And not so much as you go in up further. That's a nice one. Yeah, good find. That's eight. I'm counting.
not bad eight and 20 minutes we're finding one every two minutes means we'll get 30 in an hour at this rate that's what I'm wanting about 30 because some of them ain't gonna be good to eat you want to pick the ones that ain't hauled out to eat medium-sized ones this looks like an ideal place I'm looking as best as I can We can get to the railroad tracks down here. You want to try that? Try the bottom woods? Yeah, see, if it wasn't raining every day, we wouldn't be having this kind of luck. Aha! Josh finds one. Josh finds one. Number nine. Number nine, guys. All right, we're averaging one every two minutes. Number nine. And I'm sliding in the mud down the hill. Oh. Oh boy. <clears throat> well, there went my semi clean shoes. <sighs> I'm just going like this. I start here and I just slowly pan. Doing real good. Fill this whole bucket. At least we'll make a day of, we'll make a good day of something. I said I wanted to have one good day of this anyway, so screw fishing. This is fun, something different. All right, I'm coming up and over to the left. I'm trying to get in the open woods a little more. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn back off until I find some more guys. All right, folks, I just found me another giant right here. It's just by itself though. I don't see any other ones yet. It's right here next to this giant tree. All right, that's 10. Nice one. Yeah. Number 10, guys. We're in a, at the bottom of a large hill where all the brush and t tiny little timber sticks and stuff wash down and all gather up here. And I just knew that there'd be something growing in it. Come on. 
Where there's one, there's more. Well, hey, it was one though, and it was ten now. Only because it's this wet. They normally wouldn't be down here, probably. If it was a dry year, people wouldn't be finding near as many. Oh my God, is that a... No, that's not a morel. Yes, that, it's a morel. Yes, it is. Holy crap. That's a meal in itself, guys. Wow. Yeah, that's a morel. Barely sticking up out of the leaves, guys, where I could all I could see was the top of it. That's 11. That's a giant one. That's the biggest one so far. It's like it's two of them mutated together. Yeah, because some of them just barely poke out. They're hiding because they want to stay at that perfect temperature. Good spot though. I don't think we would have found a better spot than this. I know a lot about them scientifically, but as far as ever doing very good, I never do, but I understand how to do it. This is definitely a lot of brush for them. This is an ideal, this is an ideal spot right here, I'm telling you. Alright, I'm going to turn the camera off again until we find something. Guys, like I said earlier, when you're mushroom hunting, you always find other cool surprises. I just found a three-toed box turtle. Very colorful one. Unfortunately, he went inside when I picked him up. Let's see if I can get him to come back out. So far, he ain't wanting to cooperate. He's being stubborn. buddy come on come on it's okay come on come on buddy he ain't want to come out it's a cool one look how pretty it is yeah <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, folks, I just found three of them. I just found three morels. Not right next to each other either, just in an area. And found all found three of them kind of about 20 feet apart from each other. There's one. That makes 13. They're all over here. We just got to pay attention. I just lost the one I had. Where'd it go? I got to find the other one I seen because I just lost it. There's a stalk of one but no top on it. Well, I just lost the other one I seen. I was just staring at one, and now I can't find it. <sighs> Where did it go? I grabbed one, but there's, I lost the other two that I had my eyes on.
There's the stalk of one, but it fell off already, and it was a big one. I still can't find it. Oh, there it is. It's a big dark one too. Right here. The third one I found, it's just a it's just a stalk and no mushroom. It fell off. Look at that one. All right, folks, I found two. The the third one was just a stalk only. You know why they're all here. Look at all this brush everywhere you look. So there's definitely more. We just gotta look. It took me that long to find the second one again after spotting it. So you really gotta slow down your... That's an old whiskey bottle or medicine bottle, yeah. Or cologne. Might have been aftershave or something. Alright, that's 12. See, there's a big stalk right there. See it? The stalk, but no mushroom on it. It was, but that was just a stalk. So it's only 12. We got 12. That could have just fell off from old age or whatever. Right, we got to look over here a little better. See, that's why. Look at that. All that dead tree, all, oh, and it falls down this hill and gets in the dirt. That must be the right kind of tree. I don't know what kind it is, but we got 12. That's not bad. We're getting there. Bucket's like a third of the way full already. I know there's more right here. There's got to be. I wish we could find a spot that had about 10 of them. I thought I was finally going to find the magic spot and it's not. I thought I'd look around and see 20. There's a mushroom but it's the wrong kind Right, I'm going to turn back off, guys, until we find some more. I'm hunting is just full of surprises. This is a baby snake, and I have no idea what kind it is. It's non-poisonous. It's not a gardener. It's not a green one. I have no idea what kind of snake it is. No idea. Why you didn't hold it? Hold it. It's real blurry. Hold it. There we go. It. No, it's okay. Just a little baby. <laughs> My lens keeps fogging up.
All right, folks, just found number 13. 13. Little guy, but hey, it's a mushroom. We keep hitting dry spells, but we don't give up. We've been at it two hours. The sun finally came up. It's supposed to be mostly cloudy today. Um, we just keep trying over and over and over, and we've never hit the same spot twice. We are still at the same location, but it is such a long gravel road. All you gotta do is stay close to the road and you can just keep walking along and then when you're done, you just come down to the road and walk back to the car. So it's a real convenient place. We, She found five giant ones earlier that was just stalks. And my guess is that deer had eaten them. I've heard that they do eat them, so. And that looks like it was the case. It didn't look like someone took them because a lot of the crumbs we're still on the ground where they had ate them. So, could be the case. I'm going up along a bluff now because I figure it'll be nice and cool up here. More than down, down by the train tracks. Uh, it'll be a generally cooler area. So there may be some up here. All right. Let's see what we can find. What we found so far is a lot of gnats. They're all along this bluff. We've never hit the magic patch yet like some people do where they find 10 or 15 in one place. Ours are in groups of one, sometimes two. We found a couple groups of two. Um, I would have found three the one time, but there was just a stalk, so no very large groups yet. But I'm thinking if I dedicate myself long enough, I will find a magic area that contains, I'm hoping 20 or so, It'll be nice. Alright folks, I'm going to turn off until I find something. Alright guys, I just found number 14. Perfect sized one. Alright. Look at that so far guys. We're filling the bucket. It's just very sporadic here and there. But they're adding up. Up. All right, folks, right after I found one, Wilma found another one. Really nice one. It's the best looking one we found today. It's perfect size and perfect color, real pointy. That's a beautiful morel right there. That's 15. We got the bucket half full. I went down in that woods closer to the train, or on the other side of the tracks in the floodplain there. It's all maple trees, every single one, but I found one by itself. No, not yet. We're close to the car now, though, so we can start looking. We're by that tractor. Yeah, I'm going to start going in here. All right, folks, I'll turn back on once we find something. I didn't bring a spare battery with me, so. All right, folks, I just found a really old pool tab beer can, stag beer. 
and it's I can't believe it's only it's not rusted or anything recyclable aluminum I'm trying to find a really no date on these things but it's an old pool tab so it's got to be at least from the mid 80s or back it's really in good shape I could if it didn't have the dents I would have kept it stag beer pool tab all right another neat find all right folks I just found three at one time and they're all real nice one right here one of them got tore unfortunately so there's only two this one was real giant but it looks like something had ate in it so i got Is that no them are real no that's that's what you want them you want them to be brown like that all right folks that makes 17. all right i went and got her because i'm thinking if we found two right next to each other was three there should be more around here just got to keep our eyes peeled they're right at the bottom of the hill right where the hill meets the flat all right folks i'm going to turn off until we find some more folks no no later than i just turned the camera off she goes i got one like three seconds after the camera shut off so i just turned it back on uh, she just found another one that makes 18 for us good job all right w this woods right here folks it's only about 40 feet wide and it's off the embankment of a highway and it goes down to some train tracks it's it's a tiny woods real narrow <clears throat> now it is wider down there but we're on the tapered end of it where it tapers off and this is where we started finding them yeah mm-hmm that used to be one darn look at all this brush back here look at that oh man this is the most we found that close like this See, you want that real dark soil? Okay. No, it's no. You can't eat that. Nah, it's bad. But oh well. Hey, it still counts, right? <clears throat> Deer tracks? Yeah, probably. <clears throat> yeah, I can see them. Oh, oh yeah, folks! I just found the another one. This is number two as far as the best one we found today, right here. Beauty! It's a beauty, right here. See it? It is a beauty. Oh yeah, perfect brown color. We got a bucket that's now over half full. How come there are never more than two or three in a group though? They're right on the edge of the hill, right at the bottom of the hill where it meets the flat is where they're at. About five feet up is where I'm finding all of them. Five feet from the top of the hill. This woods is gonna end soon. We're almost to the very end of it. Then we'll have to walk back the highway to get to the car. You gotta look up here. So this turned out to be a good day, guys. We we didn't give up, and we didn't hit that magic pay dirt, but we found them here and there, and they all added up. You just gotta put in time and dedication, patience, and a lot of looking, and you too can find morels.
at all these bottles everywhere. All right, I'm gonna turn off, folks, till we find more. My battery's getting low. All right, folks, this ends spot number one. We're gonna take a short break, go to get a few drinks, go to an antique mall, and then we're gonna go to the next place. We got the bucket over half full already. We got 17 total, so not too shabby. Not bad, not 